is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm creating this bold blue and teal eye look from an inspiration photo I found on Pinterest. So what do you think? Did I come close? All right, so I saw that, that inspiration photo on Pinterest and absolutely loved the look. And I, um, one of my YouTuber friends um, or one of my subscribers who has become a friend. Hello, Miss Elizabeth. Hello, Bronte. Hello, Miss Sis. Asked me to try Devonaugh Cosmetics. So I picked up this one because it looked like the April Fool's uh, joke from Tarte and thought this would be a great combination to recreate that eye look. Well, when I started, the, and this is my first impression, so I am going to play with these some more, y'all. But my first impression wasn't really good, uh, to be honest. It was really patchy and it just kind of got muddy. And so I was a little concerned about that. And I went ahead and switched products because those just weren't working for me yet. And again, it's a first impression. So for anyone that loves Devonaugh or is a huge supporter, just realize it's my first time. I didn't have great luck, but it's not going to stop me from trying it again because I bought a bunch of other colors too. So considering I have a lot of colors, I dang well will be playing with those. So anyways, I pulled out my JD Glow palette and JD Glow, I went over the top and JD Glow is what saved the look because the Devonaugh eyeshadows just were not, they just weren't performing for me. So I don't know if I need to wet the brush if there's extra steps to make them work better I don't know but it just wasn't working for me so I hate the fact that um, these colors are so beautiful but then ended up really muddy on me as far as the rest of my face goes um, I used some Revlon effects fill fill and blur foundation I just did a test uh, first impression video on that yesterday so doing it again I've got some Makeup Geek eyeliner, which is giving me that that cat look. The Ardell Magnetic Lashes, um, I'm using two different sets of the Accent Lashes because I wanted them kind of wide and long and wispy. For my lip, I used the Plush. This is from Plush Cream from Makeup Geek. Um, it seemed to be the closest color to the one in the Inspiration photo. And then I used the Lorac palette with the color Wavelength right here to give that kind of really light look. And then I used the Huda Stick to bronze and some Maybelline Fit Me powder on top. And I finished it off with the Hangover 3-in-1. I actually forgot to put a primer under all of this today, so um, kind of concerning me since I have a really full day. I am absolutely hoping that my foundation stands up, but I am bringing my blotting powders with me today. So hopefully with the blotting powders, that'll actually help kind of as oils come up. But anyways, long story short, um, if the Devonaugh, my first impression is probably maybe a two or a three on a scale of one to 10, I, I just, I just didn't love it. Um, they just didn't perform on me, but again, it's the first impression, so I'm not giving up yet. You may see another video where I'm using it. I'm like, hey, I was totally wrong, and that's really what I'm hoping for because I don't like giving bad reviews, um, or, or maybe, again, and maybe it's just me. Maybe I just didn't use these products like they should be, but... I don't know. Once I got the JD Glow, pop those on top. I am, I am glowing. I am popping. So, the JD Glow is what pulled this eye look out. Anyways, um, if you want to see how I created this bold or recreation of this bold look, just using Pinterest as a guide as far as the look goes, you are in the right space, so stay tuned. Okay. Good morning. So one of my YouTuber um friends whose name is elizabeth hey elizabeth hey miss sis and bronte they wanted me to try the devonaz uh 
beauty eyeshadows so I went in and I was really intrigued that they kind of did a dupe of Tarte's uh, palette that was a April Fool's joke so we're gonna play with these today but I wanted to try some of their other colors so I went ahead and purchased a few uh, from their other collections so we're gonna see what we can come up with actually today not that we're gonna see what we can come up with but I did see this look on Pinterest and it did have those blues and greens in it so I thought okay I'm gonna use this coupled with the Devonaw and we're gonna see what we come up with um, today so wish me luck Elizabeth don't laugh too loudly if it's not good if it's not good so as far as their the regular colors go I'm not sure maybe I'll use this one here might as well just jump in right I'm using a little tiny brush I've already kind of mapped out below where I want the semi cut crease so I'm gonna go ahead and go a little higher with this now my cut creases I I been trying to go a little higher so that I can try to hide my hooded eye I kind of mapped those out before I started videoing so basically I'm making my crease much higher than what my crease should actually be because my crease is way low and that's what happens with hooded eyes ladies as you know that's what happens okay so I've got kind of a good map right now that I can go ahead and start with pretty greens and blues I'm not putting down a base of green or blue I'm just using the um, concealer to go ahead and keep that going now this look has it's going in with a deeper teal so we're gonna go in with this deeper teal first on a flat brush and for some reason my flat brush seems to be a little hard I'm guessing that's because there's one of my brush cleaners that I don't really like but when I'm in a pinch I'll use because it makes the brushes hard and I think that's my issue so it looks like basically we've got about a third of the eye in this teal color and I don't know looks like it's kind of going on okay maybe or it's a little patchy it's a little patchy I don't know if you guys can see that I don't know if it just doesn't like the concealer next is like a I'm trying to debate between the two blues this like bluish purple and then this blue blue this cut this eye look is pretty bold so we're gonna go with the blue blue feel like a circus act I have no lies to tell so far that lady's eyes look great and right now I feel like Mimi from Drew Carey but does that stop me from trying no all right we're gonna blend holy crap when I blended off came the colors so that side is really patchy this side is not as patchy I don't know if you guys can pick it up on camera all right, I'm going to have to switch from the Devonaw because it stops at with the bright colors and I actually need a black and I'm probably going to take a little bit different approach with the brown. I'm picking up my Violet Boss and the Violet Boss has this color Ariel. I think I need some Ariel. Violet Boss also has the color here called Carly. 
So I'm going to pick up Carly as the black. So to me, it just looks like one big blue black mess, to be honest, but I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Because quitters never win and winners never quit. I'm gonna pick back up this color Ariel here and that's on one of my little smudgy brushes. I think what I'm gonna do to kind of fix this is pick up my, I wanna say these are J-Cat. Let me look. JD Glow, sorry. Sorry, JD Glow. And maybe if I pick up some of this teal, it'll feel better. And then I'll pick up maybe this blue here. Oh, that came out more teal than blue. Whoops. I picked up this blue instead from JD Glow. I think this is more of what the eye is supposed to look like. Those Devonaw colors, maybe you've got to use them with a setting spray to get them to stick, but that's not good because I just bought three sets and I don't have time to be messing with that stuff. All right, so I'm still looking like Mimi. So I'm gonna pick up an eyeliner. Here we go. I've got Makeup Geeks Immortal. I'm gonna pick up an angled brush. And I am wearing a bright blue dress today, so I'm gonna look like Mimi for sure. Ooh, we got some fallout. Let's try to take care of that before we get going. Cause mama don't like fallout. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face right now with the three-in-one hangover. By Too Faced. Thank you so much for watching this video today using these products. Um, kind of a first impressions on Devana. Also ended up figuring out a way to make the Ardell wispy lashes or accent lashes like ginormous and yeah i just had some fun today trying to recreate this look on pinterest so i hope you enjoyed that also if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always you have a choice so make it a great one until next time